Hey guys, so I just want to give you an overview of all the equipment that I'm using here in New Zealand on my bow hunt. So first thing here is the SIG um, Sulu 6s, 16 by 42 binoculars. These are the image stabilizing binoculars and they have been a dream. It's been so nice as we're crawling through and I can hit the image stabilization and I can glass with one hand. So that has been incredible. And the other thing I'm running is the SIG Kilo 5K rangefinder. Super awesome magnification there. It's like a seven power, but it's also just very clear and very bright, which is awesome because a lot of the terrain in here is very dark and very dense. So, so far the optics have been amazing. I'm also running the Bowtech SR350. The reason I choose the SR350 is because I'm only running 60 pounds and I have a 27 and a half inch draw length. So from the other bows that Bowtech makes, this bow just gives me a few more feet per second on speed and that's something that's important to me. Um, so that way animals are less likely to jump my string. Speaking of strings, I'm running the Gas Bow Strings High Octane um, String. Truthfully, like when you come on a hunt this far from home, you just want to have the confidence in your equipment that your strings are not going to stretch. And that's why I choose gas. I'm also running the Bomar nose button on my string in high pressure situations and in difficult shots, maybe leaning or, you know, a little bit out of the ordinary um, positioning. The, the nose button is really helpful just because it makes sure that I'm lined up with my scope housing and my peep sight. So that's been a dream. Um, I run the Bomar archery grip tape as well. That's just nice. Keeps your hand warm. Doesn't let my hand slide if I'm sweaty and nervous. Um, I'm also running the Excel um, landslide sight with the AccuStat six pin head. This thing's awesome. Here I don't plan on taking shots that I need to use the landslide to slide my head, but it's there if I need it. And I do have a tape of my bow that's ready to go. So that's super helpful. I'm running the AE Vantex bar. This is a 12 inch bar. I have about six ounces on the front of that. And then on the back here, instead of running a full back bar, I just use the AE gripper mount, put like six, eight ounces it looks like on the back of that and then I can just use that on that mount to kind of move it around to help counterbalance my quiver weight on the other side of my bow um, so that's what I run for a back bar setup I know it's a little out of the ordinary but for me that just works better and it's a little bit less bulky without having that bar I'm running the tight spot five arrow quiver um, it's just nice it's really solid so that's why I choose that as far as arrows go the black eagle rampages have been my hunting arrow of choice my total arrow weight is 340 grains. This is a 400 spine arrow. I'm using the four Fletch AE Max Vein. And then my broadheads, I'm using the Evolution Outdoors Jekyll and Hyde. So this isn't expandable, but I do have the fixed blade as well. Um, and for bigger animals like stag, I'm gonna use a fixed blade, but on something a little smaller like a fallow, I'll choose to use an expandable. So again, total arrow weight, 342 grains. I know for a lot of people, you'd think that's pretty light, but for me, um, it's done wonders. I've used it here. I've used it in Africa and personally, um, I, I'm really happy with my arrow setup. The rest that I'm using is the AAE Prophecy drop away rest. It is cable driven. I, I prefer cable driven just because that's what I've used for a long time. So that's why I chose the Prophecy. Um, and that's been awesome. Uh, last, I think last, but not least, I'm actually using the True Bow Goat as a hinge. This is my first time ever hunting with a hinge, so I was a little nervous about it, but so far it's been really awesome. So I did attach it to a wrist strap, that way I didn't have to worry about losing my release in the field. But overall, I think I'm going to stick with hunting with a hinge for sure. I've made some really clean, solid shots, and that's something I don't know that I would do under pressure if I wasn't running a hinge. So I'm pretty sure that is everything as I'm looking over my equipment here. Um, I just wanted to give you guys an overview. That way you knew what I was running on this hunt. If you have any other questions, let me know. Um, otherwise, I can break it down in more detail. But thank you guys. We're having a great time over here in New Zealand. And we're hoping uh, this evening hunt goes well.